to Pedophile Golf Shop's coaching lose letter number seven. seven. Today we've got Jamie, Jasmine, Alex and Rob. And we're going to be doing something really quite cool for them today, aren't we Bobby Boy? Exactly. So what we are going to focus on is custom fitting. So we've got our two guys from... Oh, guys and girls, my way, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, from the shop and we're going to talk about custom fitting. So what the wrong spec can do for your game and what the right spec can do for your game. You're right down there now. Yeah, just a machine. Sorry. So we're going to start with Jamie. We've set him up with a driver. We've maybe given him a little bit too much loft. Right, I'll just tag on here. What is it we're using, Jamie? We've got an M3, 12 yeah. degrees, so 14 degrees. M3, 12 degrees. So maybe a bit too much loft for what he'd normally use. On the driver. And I've got um, a nice little... What flex? Light flex Passaro. Ooh. Light. We like it. Why do we? So for somebody who plays quite a bit of golf, we'd maybe say this is more of a... S a slower swing yes. speed. <laughs> Couldn't get me words out then. Be politically uh, correct. that slower? Couldn't get me words out. Be politically correct, Mr. Wilkinson. Come on. Okay, so we have three drives yet. Three drives, all right. We'll have to speed up through this quick shot routine. I'll... Oh. Oh. She's high. Ah. Oh. So what we'd probably expect from this type of a driver where we've got too much loft is probably a bit too high a launch, which we can see from the numbers. That flight is absolutely perfect, I mean, what we'd probably expect from this one. But the other thing that it's going to influence is the more loft you've got, the more friction it can create if you've got a lot of speed, and that can bump spin up. So on that last drive you just hit, it was about 4,000. So, Alan, you're looking for driving, and we're doing fitting, what sort of number are you looking for? We're looking in the 2000s, uh, definitely. You don't want to be looking too high on that 2,000 rev mark. You don't want to be looking too low at it. Uh, somewhere in that 2,000 revs is a good number to have. But we relate that a little bit then to the launch that you need. Um, you know, if you're somebody who doesn't fly at the golf ball very well, we need to keep some spin to keep it into the air. All right. If you're not launching the golf ball and you've got no spin, it's just going to react like hitting a ping pong ball. <laughs> straight out of the air and it's going to give you no distance. Yeah, no so again, our experience, we've got charts up on the wall that gives us a basis of where we want to run to, so we give you some optimal launch conditions. Right, let's see what a change in, so same driver, it's the TaylorMade M3. Okay, we've now got it set on nine degrees and we've got the 63 gram stick as requested by Mr. Black himself, my favorite. So, three shots again, let me just tag these up, my boy. And then we'll have a little comparison. And then Jazzy gets a go. So, this is a nine degree. Nine degree, and we've got the stiff, sharp, stiff flex. So what we'd anticipate from this, Jamie's got about 100 mile an hour of club head speed, so he's pretty quick. So he's gonna put quite a bit of stress on the shaft. So where this was too soft and it's maybe wobbling round on the way down, it can affect strike. Now it's a bit firmer, it's going to have a bit more control over it, should help get launch down, should help get spin down, and distance up. The big one. Try my best. Okay. Driving distance is a massive one um, for improvement in golf. Um, the strokes gained approach reckons if you can find 20 yards off the tee without any other statistical improvement. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. Dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Without oh, dear. any other statistical improvement, the chances are that you will save three shots around. Now, for Jamie's sake, we're going to take that last one off because hitting the mat two doesn't feet, help. Two feet before the golf ball. It's feeling the pressure of all you viewers. <laughs> but this does then show that he's a regular golfer. You know, he's he's a good golfer. You know, he's a single figure golfer. But mistakes happen, and we don't take those into, into account when we're fitting. On a strike, not that. You see, we want to come down. So <laughs> much, you actually look up flat. Flight. Flight. It's a little bit to the right, and, and immediately that's his longest drive of the day. Do you think the previous shot that he just hit with the softer shaft spin was about 4,000? So, just by changing a bit of spec, 
kept clubhead speed similar, spinners just dropped to 1004. This is a massive difference. Again, if you think if you're playing on a day where there's a bit of wind, crosswinds, into winds, or you're at a coast or anywhere like this, spin plays a big part on distance. So if you're windy day, spinning a lot, it's going to pop up more. If you haven't got as much spin, it's got more chance of cutting through. I'll try to get a good one. That's all right, it's consistent. That's what we've got. It has, isn't it? It's bonkers, isn't it, what it can do. Hey, nice one. there we go. So with a dra dramatic change in really spec, in terms of loft and sharp flex, literally he's hit three identical shots with the club. Yeah, this part oh, wow. has I don't know about this. It literally looks mirrored up on the screen. We'll show you this, the stacks, we'll try and get them out again up in the top corner. Spin rates and numbers are totally different. Yeah, different. We've got flatter flights. The spin rate now is, you can't get it into the 2000s, so we've, we've had a little bit of that uh, ping pong ball flight that we're talking about. If you try and whack one out there, it's just going to come out of the sky and dip. And Jamie's just had that, so... And this is it, this is where it goes in tandem with launch. So when we're looking at specs of drivers, we need to get launch somewhere between 11 to 13 is optimum for Jamie's sort of a speed. But then if we can keep the spin light, it's going to keep it going forward. So launch is quite important getting loft right. So we've had a mess with two Tamey drivers, but obviously we've got lots of different choices. So we don't like Tamey, we've got cars. What do you say the best performers this year have been so far? Um, big performers have been the Callaway Rogue lines. Um, Ping gear is always good and very consistent. Mizuno is just, if you like yeah. a golf club that feels amazing and does perform and gives you all the feedback, all the love from the game, Mizuno's it. I wonder which club Alex plays. I may, I may, have, a set of, <laughs> I may have a set of Mizunos in the bag. Um, Cleveland and Strixon gear are fantastic as well in terms of feel. Uh, Titleist stuff is always a top performer, you know, so. We've got quite a bit of choice. It's got to come down to the player, what the player wants, what the player likes. So that's why we do a fitting. That's why we do it. You know, because everybody prefers enough. something different. Some people don't like the feel of Mizuno, which, you know, that's their Battles insanity. Battles, Alex. That's because. their insanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, a lot of people say that Callaway feels a little bit head heavier, which is a great thing to have. You know, it feels like you can swing that and get some more speed out of it. Exactly. Okay, so, cool test for Jamie. We're going to change up some of our names and we're going to get Jazz on the mat. Right. So, what does Jazz want? What club head would you like to use, Jasmine? We'll give you the choice as the player, as that's what we're talking about in Pitting. Um, let's go for the steel head. The Callaway steel head. So, Callaway, Callaway, steel head. So, what do you say your spec is that you use currently? So, you have been pitted for your clubs, you came through here, we've got your track man. Yep. What is it that you use at the moment, Jazz? Uh, so, I've got steel head in 110 ground regular KBS. Okay, so KBS, that's a steel shaft, so Jasmine can create some power. Flat or upright, Jasmine? Two to be flat. Right, so let's go with that spec. So let's give you your spec set line. Okay, okay, so I'm going to mix it around. I'm going to start with what Jazz hits quite good, and then we're going to maybe put her into something that would be poorly fitted for her. See how it affects some numbers. So, Callaway. Just trying to find the shaft, and I'll. Come show them, come show them. Somebody grab the camera okay. and show them, show them what variety of shafts I'm having. So there's a lot of choice. Search through to when be able to. So when we think Jazz is after just a regular shaft, okay, these red caps here are all regular shafts that we can fit you for. So, oh my. How many of them are actually an upcharge though? Is there any in an upcharge? Or are they all standard that you can... Um... Depends on the club head, okay. Um, but very few of them are actually upcharge. A lot of the uh, companies now will give you a wide variety of specs because they understand that it's it's a fitting process. It's not a great big money sale. They want you to have their golf clubs, so they don't want you overkilled and being like, oh great, well, I've seen them online for five hundred pound, but because of the shaft that I need, they're going to be seven hundred pound. Nope, those days are going. It's a lot of choice. And now you get a lot of choice here with everything that we need. So KBS, sorry, got distracted. Sorry, Jasmine. So KBS, regular, couple degrees flat. Very easy again with their system, their custom fit system, just to screw the club head on and give it to Jazzy. There we go. Okay. So, Callaway Steelhead XR, we have got KBS regular, and this is going to be two degrees flat. Right, young lady, give it a whirl. Good 
swing, Jazz. Great job. Oh, Jazz doesn't feel the pressure. <laughs> Used to a big crowd. You did have driver. I did have early, early morning. Early early driver. Driver. It's a Jasmine is a lady county golfer, so we are expecting the highest level of ball striking, which she's given us. So good girl. Swing, Jazz. Oops. On the argument. You're going to make this set really? hard to beat, aren't you? Oh, what do you reckon? This, should we go heavier or should we go really light graphite? I can't say really light graphite and upright. <laughs> yeah, to see what it does. So Jazz has got, I mean you'll see it on the chart, that's pretty good that Jazzy. It's really Ooh, consistent. Sorry. Um, really quite impressive, we'll show you up on here. Um, I'm now going to go get her almost the opposite spec. So we're going to give her an upright shaft, I'm going to go to graphite, so it's going to feel extremely light for her. Um, would you prefer longer or shorter? A bit shorter. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go a little bit shorter, we'll go upright, and then we're going to try and give it in her the totally wrong shaft. So, so what Alex is talking about in terms of upright is the lying of a golf club. So when a golf club's made and hopefully it's perfect for you, club head sweeps the turf, ball goes off straight, you take a little divot that's this wide. This angle here can be changed, so it can be made more upright or flatter, depending on how tall wrist the floor and how much stress we put on the shaft for impact. If it's incorrect and say it comes through toe down and the handle's higher, toe can hit the ground, it can open the club face. Course shots that go this way, if it's too flat, heel can catch the ground and it can close the club face this way. So the other way, it can affect loft. So loft is pointing at you, the more we make it upright, it points right, the more we make it flatter, it points left. So we know Jazz is set up pretty good for it because you just hit a lovely soft little draw by the look of it, but now this one might not be set up so good. So we're gonna see what it does to ball flight. So Jazz, pray best, it's gonna feel a little bit weird. <laughs> that feels quite a lot big. Let's go. So let me just angle this on here, Jamie. So we have now gone, um, ladies, ladies flex, and we have gone two degrees upright. Let's see what this does for you. Can you see much of a change in terms of how it sets up, Jazz? Uh, I can do. Much shorter. <laughs> You've dealt with it well. You can adapt. You see, speed is dropping. Swing. Silence. We're stunned. We're learning. We're stunned. Look at the spin. The spin's just dropped, so it's not consistent. Gone. So now you might find one that goes maybe a little bit further. We're going to get in different distances. So, so we're so going to get that inconsistency. Um, something we were talking about in the in the last video of where golf clubs trying to give you some help in hand, trying to push, trying to do the too much for what the golfer needs, and all of a sudden you'll find that consistency because you're a good golfer. But all of a sudden the shaft will kick in, something will kick in, and she'll hit a golf shot where she doesn't know where it comes from. Um, this has worked out really well because the consistency of her spec in comparison to what um, she's just hit with that one. Dispersion has gone out, distance has yeah. thrown up the different numbers, yeah. and the spins up and, up and so down. We just had one where I think the spin was 2007, the next shot's up to 4002, so that's too much of an increase. You think it's a quarter more added on. So if you're playing in, again, funny conditions, a bit windy, you pop loads of spin on it, your distance goes out the window. So we want something where we're trying to hit consistent numbers, but it still feels quite good. You dealt quite well with it, both of you. Yeah, I think it's just a nice little insight on what changing specs can do for your golf clubs. Um, but if you want to find out what can happen to your specs, Rob, how do they get hold of us and how do they come and see us? Best to pop in store and speak to us, where you'll find one of us, we all understand about club fitting, or you can give us a call on 01603 740 979, or drop us an email at wetalkgolf at peterfieldgolf.co.uk. But we'll just run you through, we'll show you how well your clubs work for you currently, and then we'll try and put into your hands maybe what we think is a little bit better option. Yeah, it's very exciting. So, we'll see you next week.